Okay, so ooh, as you probably saw in the title, today I have what I think is quite an impressive door. This is a 28 by 28 seamless glass piston door, and of course it's in bedrock edition. As always, no Java whatever. So uh, I bet you want to see it open and close, so let's do that. Okay, I figured I would tell you what all was happening right here. So, the glass blocks are in the door, and right now, slime blocks and honey blocks are moving up into the door, ready to accept the glass blocks and pull them out of the way. Now, those piston pushers just push the slime, or the glass blocks, onto the slime and honey, and now they're being dragged down to the bottom, and then the walls and ceiling, and they close up, and we'll get a nice seamless door. Now we're going to basically watch the same thing happen, except in reverse. So the glass blocks move up with the slime and honey assembly and into the door, to the position it is. Notice the walls are also moving up at the same time to allow these piston pushers to come across and separate the glass blocks from the slime and honey. And then it moves out of the way again, leaving us with a nice seamless glass door. Of course, the walls still have to come back down, and there we go. So, now I will show you all of the components. So, the biggest part is all of this here. Uh, this is what actually moves the glass in and out of the door, and it's basically exactly the same as my 13 by 13 piston door, which I will leave a link to if I don't forget. Uh, and it's just some two-way flying machines which pull blocks with them. And that's how all of these get in and out, as you probably saw. Uh, then on the sides, over here, we have more of that same flying machine. See, it's the same design. And that moves the wall out of the way to allow these piston pushers to move in. So this is a different style of flying machine I designed, where the previous ones use moving observers to achieve the two directions. This one uses the fact that Sticky Pistons can't pull Terracotta to do it, so when it flies one way, the uh, the Pistons here get will push on the Terracotta so it moves that way, and then it gets the Terracotta gets pushed over so that it flies the other way. I'm probably not explaining that well, but it's not as complicated as it probably looks. And what these do, they have all these Pistons here, and sticky pistons here, and so when it flies from left to right, it will uh, push the glass blocks over one, so they'll end up here, and that way they can get pushed onto the slime blocks and honey blocks down here and get moved out. But when these move from right to left, the opposite happens, and they instead pull the blocks one away, and that way they're taken off of the slime and honey blocks here so that this whole thing could move down and out of the way without pulling these with it, leaving the door in place. Uh, so it's I think it's a pretty cool system. It's not too complicated, it's just a lot of a lot of these. Um, oh yeah, the other thing that is of note, I guess, is have this sort of trapdoor thing here. So these four blocks need to get moved out of the way to allow this set of flying machines to move up. And the simplest way to do that was just to pull them out of the way using a double piston extender and piston extender here. 
In my 13 by 13 seamless piston door, I used more of these flying machines on the floor, but I realized that was a little bit overcomplicated, so this is just simpler. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to the store. Uh, everything else is just wiring and timings. Um, interestingly enough, the opening and closing sequences, uh, it's exactly the same except it for the side that these block pushers and pullers are on. If it's on this side, then the door will open. If they're on this side, then the door will close. But uh, it, everything is powered and timed in exactly the same way. And speaking of which, it takes about 10 minutes to open and to close in my tests, which is, I mean, quite a, a bit, but there's also a lot of lag. I'm not sure if it will come through well in the time lapse, but if you're running this on a better computer than what I have, you might end up with the door opening significantly quicker or slower. I'm not going to do any form of exact calculations into how long that would take without lag, but I would expect like a fifth of the time. Uh, it's quite laggy. But yeah, I think that's all there really is to say if you want to learn more about these flying machines that are the bulk of the door, then, uh, like I said, I'll leave a link to my 13x13. 13 13. But I think that's about it, so thanks for watching.